What's going on YouTube? Welcome in. I am Libo ATM as always and thanks for joining me here on another video of the channel. Uh, this is the next video in the Is It Legit Though series. It's the first Is It Legit Though series on the killer side of things. Um, and just before I get jumped into the overview of the building stuff, I apologise because the Oni is going to scream at random points and I am probably going to get a massive fright. But, yeah, we know it's going to happen. So, this week's uh, is it legit though, is the all-seeing Oni build, you've probably seen this through other content creators as well, uh, called No Power Oni, No Power Bam Bam, all, all that sort of stuff. Um, but the basis of the build is that you run the add-on combo of Rinjiro's Bloody Glove, uh, which means all survivors can see blood orbs. A survivor coming into contact with the blood orb will reveal their aura for two seconds. Uh, the effect stacks for each blood orb resolved. There he goes. Uh, and the other add-on I'm um, using is Splintered Hull, which increases the amount of blood orbs dropped by the survivors. And the aim of this build is basically to get survivors injured, uh, have them spill blood orbs all over the place, and then, using Regino's Bloody Glove, see their aura virtually all times, and just kind of wall hack and pick them off at will. So, uh, I'm going to bring a Hawkins map offering, just because that seems to be the map I have most joy with, with this build. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm kind of combining it with a build from one of my Tome Time videos. Because uh, I recommend this one quite a lot in my Tome Time videos, so I thought I would throw it together. Um, so this is the build I recommend for your Hook Your Obsession challenges. So we're going to run uh, Whispers and Barbecue for tracking. And then the two in the middle here, Nemesis, where uh, anytime a new survivor becomes the Obsession, they're affected by the Oblivious status effect for 60 seconds and the Aura is shown to you for 4 seconds. This happens to anyone who blinds or stuns you with a pallet or a walker. Uh, and you'll combo that with Enduring, uh, which reduces pallet stuns by 50%. So basically what you want to do is just be heavy committal and chase, don't respect any pallets, take pallet stuns, they become your obsession, down them, put them on the hook, recycle your obsession a bunch of times, get multiple obsession hooks. Yeah, so that's the basic premise anyway of the, of the build, shall we say. So uh, what we'll do is we'll jump into a game and we'll see how this one pans out for us. Okay, Oni on Hawkins. So let's get the all seeing build on the go. Hopefully we can um, find some people early. There we go. That's someone. The old Kate being well versed in the holding W strategy. Avoiding every pallet on the map and just holding W as quickly as humanly possible in this direction. Didn't even get the stun. Oh, there's someone else. Let's go for the David. Let's see if we can get a stun here. We can, he was the obsession anyway, that was worthless. There we go. Um, I actually went for a grab there and my game lagged out, so it's triggered the grab and then cancelled it instantly for us to um, not grab him. Not ideal to have only got one hook by the time the first gen goes, but... Someone's on that gen up there, they can stay there, it's a nightmare to defend anyway. Yep. Stayed up here, you have not. Okay. Hope he's just standing in his own blood, which is not the smartest idea of him. That person is healing him right there. He's ran up the stairs, thank you, Blood Whip. My god, man, I'm getting gen rushed. I was kind of hoping to find the other person, but I kind of need to if I've only got 
I've only really got two uh, people, or I've only got two gens left, so. I'm really, really not happy that neither of those hit, if I'm going to be honest with you. I think that that was uh, a little bit bullshit. She goes back in here and we can see the... There we go. Oh man, I am literally being gen rushed so hard here. Lagged out when I went for a swing. Oh, that's one dead. At least take that for the time being. That person's away that way. That person's healed over there. The thing was running this way too. Hi Meg. Hi Kate. <laughs> Don't know why you ran by a completely safe pallet there to come up here, but... I'll, um, I guess take it, but... There's a person all the way over there. It's the Meg who's coming right towards me. Hi. Why did you go in that locker? <laughs> no idea why she went in that locker is the answer to that question. And we now know the Feng and the Kate are back up the other end of the map. Got someone self in. That person's up the top. go. Again, know where they are exactly, which is good. Healing up, which is uh, not ideal for me, but I could use my power here because it's a relatively straight line, but um, yep. Again, how are these not hitting? They're not even lunges, you know what I mean? There we go. Eventually it happens, guys. Eventually it happens. That uh, Kate has, or that, yeah, that Kate's been left to die on hook. Poor sportsman and teammanship from the, uh, the Meg there. The unhook literally just made me lag ridiculously. There's Kate. Beautiful blood orbs working for me there. Ooh. I have no idea how I managed to lose her. Oh no, I didn't. Because she's a. Uh... I could slug for the four K here, but I'll, I'll just um, I'll just I'll just go for hooks. I kind of had to play a little bit of shit in this game anyway to like I kind of tunneled that David pretty hard, so. Might as well give the uh, the thing a chance. Well, she is running directly here, so you know that's good. Uh, I should have went for that. Should not have went for that. She's got the hatch. Damn it. Oh well, GG's. 
Okay, guys, that was the. Is it legit though? Only would. Do you, do you mind, sir? Do you mind? Anyway, um, yeah. So that was that was um, all seeing Oni. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I I I honestly love that build. It, like you seen the amount of information we got with people with the wall hacks and things like that. Um, rough start to the game on that one. Lost a lot. It's it's the thing you do if you it's the perks I was running. I've got no regression there at all. So by the time it took me to find a couple of people, lost a few gens. Had to play a little bit dirty to try and kind of get control of the game again. But I think that the build itself, uh, the the, the add-on combo is is, uh, is is most certainly legit. So uh, we'll leave it at that. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, please uh, come see me over at Twitch a few times a week at twitch.tv forward slash libowatm. And until I see you guys next time, peace.